Okay, let's start in mountain pose with our warm up and see where you go from there. So feet hip width apart, spread out those toes, no gripping. Get good grounding, stack up through your bones, through the crown and reach to the ceiling. Relax your shoulders back and down. And just take a moment to breathe, letting that diaphragm drop, belly expand as you inhale, exhale, sinking. And just let all those tensions release with the breath. And then for our warm up, bring your arms up to shoulder level, stretch through your fingertips up through the top. Exhale, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, keep your shoulders down. And then exhale, hands behind, just clasp your fingertips together and lift your heart, stretch your head back, spread your toes. And then exhaling over the hips, come into your forward position. So hands up toward the ceiling, head down toward your legs, and just let that back get a good stretch to start with. A few breaths here, just relaxing. And then tuck in your chin, bend your knees slightly and work your way slowly up through your spine and lift your heart. Shoulders down, head back, and just a good stretch through that heart and back through the top of your head. And then inhale upright, release your arms, take a moment just feeling the circulation increase. And again, arms out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep the shoulders down, bring your hands behind and clasp the opposite way. Lift your heart, head back, and pivot over at the hips, exhaling into the forward bend. And again, knees bent a little, toes spreading, and hands rising. Just take a moment again to let that back get a good stretch. And then inhaling, wind your way back up, and again, into that upper body for your back bend as you drop your shoulders. Take a breath, stretch it out. And then again, inhale up, Release your arms and just take a moment once more, feeling that spine. One arm out, palm to the ceiling, over your shoulder. Stretch the hands away from each other and without twisting, come into that side stretch. So arm near your ear, stretch out through your fingertips and then push the foot you're leaning away from down. Just keep sliding the hand along your leg down a little further. Take a breath into the ribs, stretch them apart on that side you're stretching. And then inhale back up and release the arm. And bring the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, over your shoulder. Stretch the hands apart and lean to that opposite side. And again, ribs opening, stretching out, lengthening and breathing. Just deepen as far into that as your body would like. And then inhale back up and release your arm. And again, just feel all the sides a little bit more stimulated. And we'll twist. So base of the skull, base of the spine, remember, stretching apart. Arms out, palms up, over your shoulders, clasping your elbows. Spread your toes and stretch up. Exhale into your twist. Weight on both feet evenly, lengthen up, and then exhale over. So just deepen into your forward bend as far as you want, and relax. So you can keep the arms near your ears, and lift your sitting bones. Weight on both feet, and then staying in your twist, work your way up, and lift your heart. Shoulders down, elbows back, and always lower back, just gently. Mostly that upper body is in the back bend. So breathe, relax, and on an inhalation, come up, turn to the center, and switch your arms. Then again, lengthen through the spine, and exhale through your opposite twist. Breathe, and pivot over as you exhale. And again, just deepen as much as feels right on this side and relax. 
lift your sitting bones, keep the weight on both feet, and when you're ready, work your way back all the way up in the twist and into that upper body back bend, elbows back, chest high. Take a breath, just relax. And then inhaling, come upright, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up, keep your shoulders down. Arms next to your ears, pivot right at the hips and come forward. So sitting bones go back, crowning fingertips forward. See if you can go parallel to the floor. And then exhale and just drop into ragdoll. So arms just hanging, tuck in your chin, straighten your knees and lift your sitting bones or keep them a little bent if that's better for your body today. Pull in with the hands behind your legs if you like an extra stretch. And then again, releasing and winding once more slowly to the top, shoulders back and down, and back into mountain pose. Feel the spine a little bit more stimulated. And let's step wide. So come as far apart as you feel is appropriate. And then toes straight ahead and spread out and sitting bones down, ribs in and up, shoulders relaxing, crown to the ceiling. So bring your thumbs to the hip crease right at the top of the thigh and we're going to pivot there just keeping the back as flat as you can, coming into that forward pivot. So just allow your body to stretch sitting bones back and crown forward. And then bring the arms straight out from, from the sides at shoulder level. Stretch as much as you can. So knees are as straight as feels comfortable. Micro bend if you feel like they're locking up too much. And then bring your hands down onto your legs. Just slide a little deeper into that forward bend. Feel the back of the legs get a good stretch. And then bring your hands to the floor if they reach and turn your fingertips back and walk your hands further back and pivot even deeper into that forward bend. Or if your hands don't reach the floor, you can just pull them on the back of your legs to pull through a little bit more. So pivoting still at the hips so you're not rounding through the spine, you're trying to keep the spine as straight as you can. And then hands back to the front and onto your shins and slide up into that wide legged position. So again, just feel the spine a little bit more stretched out and notice that hip joint. We're going to work it a little bit more. So we're going to turn the body as we turn our feet this time. So turn one foot 90 degrees. Heel back, toes forward on that opposite foot and turn your whole body to face that forward, forward foot. So kind of pull your kneecaps toward your thighs, bring the thumbs into that hip crease again, pull the back hip forward and the front hip back so that those hips are right even. And then we're gonna pivot, pushing the sitting bones back and with your chest and chin, Keep your back as parallel to the floor as you can, as straight as you can. And again, just lengthen through that pyramid stretch, pushing back into the heel outside of the foot behind you as much as into that front leg. And just keep pivoting as far as your body wants to go. Bring your arms out to the sides. Lengthen the shoulder blades towards your waist and just pivot maybe a little deeper, but keep the back as flat as you can. Take a breath. Stretch sitting bones back, crown forward. Keep pulling this back hip forward and the front hip back. And then keeping the arms stretched out, pivot back up and reach overhead and look up. And then hands to your heart, turn your feet to the front, and back into your straddle position. So take a moment, 
feel that circulation through the hip area a little bit more and up through the spine. Spread your toes, get everything connected evenly into both feet, and we'll do the same thing to the other side. So again, turning your foot 90 degrees, heel back toes forward, and then pull that back hip around as that front hip pulls back, facing the foot in front. So shoulders and hips are as even as you can. Thumbs into that hip crease. And again, push your sitting bones back, chest and chin coming down. Keep your back as flat as you can, pivoting till you're about parallel to the bridge. Take a breath, relax. So kneecaps toward your thighs, weight into both feet evenly. Front hip <clears throat> pulling back, Back hip pulling forward, keeping those hips even. And then arms out, shoulder level, stretch it. Maybe pivot a little deeper if that's working. But keep your back as flat as you can. And then inhaling, pivoting up, and reach your hands overhead, and turn to the center. Oops. With your feet turning forward, got stuck on the mat with my feet. <laughs> into that wide leg straddle position <laughs> and back into mountain pose. So take a moment there, just feel your body a little bit more stimulated through the whole spine area and the legs. And again, inhale, looking up, palms together, swan dive forward, again, that flat coming parallel to the floor, and now we're going to round into that down just head. Feel the difference in your spine. Pull in a little bit further if you'd like. Cup in your chin. And then arms back to the front. Then just winding your way up. And shoulders back and down into mountain pose. Take a moment there. Feeling your spine. Breathing deep hands to your heart. So looking at your hands, we're going to bring them up. Keep looking at those thumbs, pull them a little further back. So keep the hips right above your ankles and just lift your heart and look behind you as you bring those thumbs back, only as far as they want to go. And then exhaling, follow the hands to your heart, pivot at your hips, move into ragdoll. Take a moment to tuck in your chin, top of your head toward the floor. Sitting bones lifting, get a good stretch on the back of your legs. And then slide your hands up onto your shins, under your knees. And knees straight, elbows straight, back straight. Get that stretch going through your whole body. And then exhaling again, back down. And arms out to the side, straighten your back. Make it parallel to the floor as much as you can. And then pivoting up, keep those arms at shoulder level, check it out, see if you are. And then reach overhead. And again, hands to your heart and release. Take a moment there, feel your body. And focus on your hips a little bit more. So separate your feet a little bit, toes angled out. This mat is really sticky. So toes slightly angled out, knees going the direction of your toes. You can bring your hands to your hips, and then we're going to either hands to the knees or all the way to the floor coming into a squat. And then inhaling, again, back up. So exhaling down, knees or floor, and then inhaling and standing. And just a few times going through that range of motion, getting those knees working a little bit more. So breathing, exhaling down, inhaling up, and just working through the bend in your hips. And then coming down, drop your sitting bones, hips behind you, and bring your hands to prayer position, insides of your knees pressing into the outside of your upper arms. Straighten your back as much as you can in the squat position. 
So if your knees are bad, it's okay to be further up. You don't have to be all the way down in the squat. And if your heels come up, that just means that you can't quite move those ankles into that squat position quite so much. And then returning your hands to the floor, lifting your hips. Inhale, and again, come on back up and into mountain pose. Just feel that hip pelvis area and notice what your body is telling you. And then reach up, exhale over, and let's go all the way to the mat into child's pose for our transition. So hips back onto your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down. So knees together, get a good stretch on your back or separate your knees for that easier breathing. Pad if you need to for your ankles or anything that feels tight. And then inhaling, come up and into staff position. So sitting bones connect, press your heels away and toes pulling back and kneecaps and toes straight up toward the ceiling. Spine stacked right above your sitting bones, ribs in and up, get that core activated. And we're gonna spread the legs apart again. So kind of lift up on your hands, hips off the floor, push the sitting bones back and sink down again. So you're a little bit into that pelvic opening as you sink down. Heels press out, toes pulling up and backs of the knees as much toward the floor as it's comfortable for you. So take a moment there, positioning and aligning. And then we're gonna bring the hands next to you, bring your arms out, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, and arms right above your shoulders. So as you exhale, bring the hands down to your shoulders, sinking into your sitting bones. Inhale, stretch way up. And exhale again, sinking down. And then inhale, stretch way up, spine open, and then turn from your hips, your ribs, and your shoulder toward one foot. Exhale, hands to your shoulders. So sitting bones down as much as you can. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hands to your shoulders. And again, once more, inhale up, pivot. And exhale, chest and chin toward the knee, hand toward your foot or ankle toward the floor. So come as far into that forward pivot on that twist position as feels good for you. Lengthen through your crown, pull the toes back, knees still up toward the ceiling on both feet. And stretch the top of your head toward your toes, pulling your toes back toward the top of your head. So you're not aiming to get to the knee, you're pulling your chest toward the knee, but it doesn't ever probably going to get there unless you're super flexible. So take a moment there, just breathe. And then release your hands, push further forward, bring your arms next to your ears, pivot back up, and turn to the center, exhale, hands back to the floor. Feel your body, probably a little lopsided, so we have to do it the opposite way. So again, sink into those sitting bones, kind of lift up, push them back a little bit, getting the whole back of your legs as much along the floor as you can. Arms out at shoulder level, toes pulling back, heels pushing out, arms at shoulder level, palms to the ceiling, and arms above your shoulders. Again, we're gonna exhale down, and inhale and stretch everything up. Exhale and release. And inhale and stretch. Exhale down, and then stretch up, and exhale, twisting toward that other way. So adjust if you need to, and then exhale, looking at your toes, on that foot you're turning towards, stretch it up. Exhale, sinking down. Inhale, get a good, good stretch, and pivot, 
chest and chin towards your knee, hands reaching towards your foot, only as far as it wants. So if you're only on your leg or the floor, that's fine. And again, keep the chin a little bit tucked towards your chest so the top of your head is going towards your toes and the toes are pulling back towards you. Chest and chin moving toward that knee. Remember, kneecaps towards your thighs so that back of the leg keeps stretching nice and long. Take a breath, deepen as much as it wants to. And then bring your arms forward, arms next to your ears, push those fingertips out as you inhale and pivot back up. Exhale, turning to the center, releasing hands, palms toward the floor and back all the way down. Feel the backs of your legs, just noticing how that's working through your body. And we're going to try pivoting forward. So this will be a little bit more challenging because we tend to worry that we're going to fall on our faces. Don't worry, it's not going to happen. So again, lift up, push those sitting bones a little behind you so you get that good pivot at the hip joint. And arms out, shoulder level, shoulder blades down, palms toward the ceiling, arms over your shoulders. And again, exhale, sink down. Inhale, stretch from the sitting bones up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, stretch. And again, exhale down, stretch it way out. And chest and chin lead, coming forward, bring those arms straight out or reach them for your feet if that's more comfortable for you. So you can slide your hands down your legs towards your toes or onto your toes. Chest and chin are leaning forward. Or if you want, it's a little bit more strenuous if you keep your arms next to your ears as you pivot into that forward pivot. So just go as far as your body wants and then relax. Stretch out through the top of your head. Pull those shoulder blades towards your waist, wherever your hands are, and breathe. So toes are up, knees are up. Push out through the bottoms of your feet, out through the fingertips, whether they're forward or towards your feet. And then again, lengthen, push really far forward, chest and chin maybe a little further toward the floor. And then arms by your ears, coming back up. And release. Bend your knees. Bring the feet together into butterfly position. So again, adjust on those sitting bones as much as you need to. Lengthen up through your crown. Let those knees come out toward the sides only as much as they want to. And breathe. And then hands one behind and then the other. Right near your body on the floor, either fingertips down or palms down, whatever's right for your arms and shoulders. Shoulder blades towards your waist, chest and chin a little bit forward and look up and sink those shoulder blades down. So just breathe as you exhale and relax. Just let those knees sink maybe a little further toward the floor as that front of your body opens a little bit more. Take a breath, stretch your head back and away. And then exhaling, bring those hands back to the front. Lift your knees and slide the legs out into staff position. So take a moment, find your position, slide those sitting bones slightly back and feet forward. So with the legs straight this time out in front, we're going to do another forward bend. So bring one foot to the inner thigh, knee out to the side, adjust on your sitting bones. Keep that front leg straight out. Then again, arms at your sides. Bring them up to shoulder level. Turn the palms toward the ceiling, arms over your shoulders. And just like we did before, exhale, hands to your shoulders. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, arms down. Inhale and stretch. Exhale once more. Really stretch it out this time and pivot forward. So chest and chin toward the knee, hands toward the foot. 
Pull the toes back. Hands can be on your leg or the floor or your foot, your choice. So sitting bones go a little deeper back and chest comes maybe a little further toward the leg. Head still toward your toes. And then arms by your ears, stretch out and hands reaching forward and then back up to the ceiling. And bring your arms out and down. Lift your knee and return to staff. Feel your body and we'll do the other one. So, foot comes in, readjust on your sitting bones and bring your hands to your sides. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders. And again, exhale, sinking hands to your shoulders. Stretch it up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Really good stretch up this time. Push those sitting bones back. Chest and chin meeting. Reach your hands for your foot or the floor or your leg. And again, push those sitting bones back. Keep that kneecap up. And exhale, deepening as far with that chest and chin toward your legs and as it wants to go. Push the head toward your toes, pulling your toes back. And then again, arms by your ears. Inhale, pivoting back up, releasing your arms. Lift your knee and back into staff position. Take a moment there, just feeling how your body is working. And once more, sitting bones back, hands to your sides, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders. Exhale it down. Inhale and stretch. Exhale down. Inhale and up. Once more down. And inhale, crown and fingertips really reaching up. Pivot at the hips, chest and chin leading. Reach for your toes with your hands. Slip those sitting bones further back. Pull that chest toward your legs and those toes back toward you. And again, deepen only as far as your body wants to go. And then bring your arms again by your ears. Push your hands forward. Inhale, pivoting back up. And release back into staff. And then bring your arms up to shoulder level. We're going to pivot all the way to one side. So that leg you're turning toward, the hip may come up a little bit. That's fine. And then Push your hand toward your toes as the other arm follows. And then back up. Inhale, arms up. Turn to the center. Exhale and release. So feel the twist. And once more, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, keep those arms right at shoulder level as you twist the hip side you're turning toward. That hip comes sitting up, up a little bit. Again, reach toward the toes with that front hand, and then back straight, and turn the palms up as you twist back to the center, arms right above your shoulders, and release. And it's time to roll onto our backs for our relaxation. So go ahead and release into that surface beneath you. Take a breath. Just let your body grow heavy and sink. And as you breathe deeply, just release any tightness through the hips, legs, pelvis. We worked that area quite a bit. We also did a lot with those shoulders and arms, so release through the arms, shoulders, and torso. Let your body grow heavy. Just let it sink deep into that surface beneath you. And release. Deep breaths, just releasing and relaxing into that earth embrace. Let your body go. And as your body sinks, growing heavy and deepening into that earth surface, just allow your thoughts to float, releasing with the breath. 
floating away without attention. Remembering always that the brain will keep producing thoughts, but it's your choice whether you pay attention. There's no need to think about your body or the content of your mind. Just let the thoughts disappear as easily as your breath. Totally relaxing, sinking with your body, floating with your mind, just allowing everything to release completely. And just allow your awareness to focus inward, finding that peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Just take a few moments to be peace. And feel free to stay relaxed even longer if that works for you today. Or begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body, allowing yourself to prepare for what's ahead for you today. As you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently as you become ready, stretching, moving. And when you're ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, Push those sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, and draw your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that good appreciative yoga hug, and let your body know you appreciate its work today in yoga, and the work it does for you every day. Bring your feet to the mat. When you're done, and roll to the side, sitting back up, and getting ready. And whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.